Welcome back to Unwrapped. I'm Mark Summers, sorting through lots of Halloween treats. How about gummies? They're a standby on the trick-or-treat streets. They come in many shapes and sizes, including these creepy crawlers. So right now, we're going to go behind the scenes to see how they're made. Um, um. Gummy glowworms are one of Ferrera Pan Candy's top-selling treats. They make the gummies with lots of gelatin. Blend it in this machine with corn syrup, sugar, and water. Surprisingly, every step is mechanized. The machine does all the measuring. The program will run, and it will say how many pounds of each ingredient. When you hit that amount in the tank, then the valve will close, and the next ingredient will come in. Fully automated. Here they heat the mixture to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Then it's put into a vacuum that cools it and removes much of the moisture. The next step would be to add any of the color, the flavor, the juice before we deposit it. And that's done in this huge machine they call a CFA, or Color Flavor Additive Deck. Now, this is a very critical piece of equipment because it's measuring out precisely how much color, how much flavor, and it's doing it batch after batch after batch so that every time you buy a gummy worm, you're getting the same flavor and the same color in that gummy worm. Now the colored flavored mixture is ready to turn into gummy worms. But most people are shocked to find out how gummies take their shape. The gummy mixture never touches a mold. Instead, it goes into this white stuff, which has been pressed with a mold into a gummy shape. It's a cornstarch with a small percent of mineral oil. And if I wanted to make a gummy hand, I'd flatten it out, press in, and just fill that up with slurry. Cool. The cornstarch is actually a better mold than a metal pan. Plus, it's easier to get the gummies out once they're dry. And we use a piston pump and a nozzle that lines up directly with the mold and injects the liquid candy into the starch. They can fill 28 of these boards a minute, which is a total of 6,720 worms every 60 seconds, or 403,000 an hour, and over 9.5 million a day, just in case you're counting. These boards are taken to a drying room for 18 hours, then put back on the machine to be processed. After the product shakes out of the mold, it goes through a steamer, gets it all sticky, and then it will roll in the sugar acid blend. The sugar acid gives these Black Forest gummies their famous sweet and sour taste, especially popular with the under 12 set. After the product goes through the steamer, it's gonna roll in this drum where it's gonna get covered with the sugar acid blend that gives us the glowworm and sourness. From here, we'll convey it up, we'll catch it in boards, and send it off to the packaging room. And then all that's left to do is to put them in a package and let kids do the rest.